give you the glory on this morning. I give you the praise because you alone are worthy. You're worthy in the name of Yeshua. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not going to leave this music up here too long because I do not want them to mute my video in 115 countries. Okay. Um, we got a good comp. We, look, we got a good piece on today. We got a good message on today because I want to come up here and let you know that it's not too late and that we forgive you. I said, we forgive you. Oh, hallelujah. Something's got to break, y'all. I said, something's got to break. But you got to be, come on, you got to be in the will of the Lord. And when I say the will of the Lord, that means in his eternal will. Uh-huh. In his eternal will. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. We're moving. We're moving towards. We're moving towards a new beginning. And when I say a new beginning, that means that there is a, a, a anti-Christ development taking place right up under your nose. Right up under your nose. While you're shouting, while you're dancing, while you're rejoicing. Oh yeah, he's manifesting. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's holding us up. I'm listening to some Kiki Shears. Um, this music does not belong to me. Um, the rights belong to Kiki. And I just wanted to say that so they don't hold me hostage to any type of copyright okay oh hallelujah oh he's holding us up he's holding us up i said he's holding us up oh hallelujah glory to god i'm not even gonna waste any time because i was a little late getting up here hallelujah hallelujah glory to god hallelujah glory to god i'm not gonna waste any time i'm gonna be coming for from um First, from 2 Timothy, the third chapter. I'm going to be coming from 2 Timothy, the third chapter. But before I start, I want to show you a picture. Um, I want to show you a picture. Um, so I'm not going to wait for anybody. You can come later. I said you can come later. Um, um, I want to first say that um, my videos, my messages are not to bring fear. They are not, I, I am not giving a clarion call to bring fear but instead to bring warning um, because the fear will come if the warning is not halted to. So if you don't halt to the warning, if you don't heed the warning, then fear will follow because of what's ahead. I said, if you don't heed the warning, fear would follow. So this is not to bring fear. This is not to bring any type of discouragement whatsoever, but it is to bring revelation on what's ahead. I said, it's to bring revelation on what's ahead. But I want you to know that nothing catches our father by chance. So he has come to come out to, to warn those that have not been warned pre-adventure for those that have not been in his face all these years. We forgive you. The Bible say that they were deceived and they were deceiving others. The Bible say that they were deceived and they were also deceiving others. God bless you, man of God. And so I'm going to show you my picture first. I want to show you my picture first because I want to show you what God gave me. I'm but I'm going to be coming from um, 2 Timothy. That's where I'm going to start on this morning. God bless you. And God bless you that come later. I'm going to start in um, 2 Timothy, the third chapter. And I'm going to, and it's going to be at the um, 13th verse. Because I want you to know that many people have been deceived. And so the Lord is not going to hold people hostage because they didn't know. And you got to understand that if you were brought into slavery. Uh, and you were given information to identify who you were from an external point, And and you were given identity to identify your father from an external point, then you really didn't know. Okay. But the Lord is sending people out to give a clarion call, not to bring fear, but to bring a warning. I wanted to show you this picture real quick. 
I have hundreds of drawings that the Lord had given to me. God bless you, Pastor, um, that the Lord had given to me. And so this is going to start here in the head. That I'm dealing with the brain, okay? And I want you to see where you have the band around your head. This is how we are born. We are born into the world, and we are reduced down to brain matter through the senses. And it's through the senses that our soulish man, a tenth of our soulish man, is brought to this part of our brain. So he lives. He lives on the left side of the brain. I said he lives on the left side of the brain. Now he is being sucked into this location here. This location, which is considered to be the soulish realm, is where the royal observatory is. It's also considered to be the eye of providence. It is the soul, and it is the place where the spirit man goes to seek out his salvation. And in this place, you got to think of this as being like your spirit man, like being a hamper, a, a, a hamster, because he's traveling around the soul because he can't find his way into the heavenly domain. Because the information that he has been given has not been validated from the inside. And so he's only been validated from the outside. And so this is the Royal Observatory. It's also a place where they call the Eye of Province, where they are able to see the spirit man and its development from its observatory place. Uh huh. It's an observatory place that was put in place by Rome, that was put in place by England. And so they are able to see the growth, they are able to see the development of the spirit or of the soul why you exist in the earth realm um, before you go into the house because their, their, their assignment from their father which is Satan is to stop you from getting to the heavenly domain and this is the place where Christ opened to us and he said that when we go in that we had to shut the door behind us okay so this is the world soul that most people live in and the, the soul the tenth of the man that is reduced down to nature through the brain mass he goes goes into the world soul and it's through the world soul that he is observed, that he is given information and that he is given all of his patterns throughout life. And this soulish man that has dominated the spirit man is now up under the influence of the observatory and up under the influence of Rome and up under the influence of knowledge and up under the influence of the outer world. And he has not made it into the kingdom. And this is the kingdom domain in which Christ came to lead us. And they took us away from that door when the Roman Catholic Church took over the doctrines of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I just wanted you to know that you start here in the brain. Then you move to the soulish realm, and this is where the eye of province is, and this is where you are being observed. Okay, this is the soulish realm. And the tenth of you is being observed. His development is being observed. And this is where the heavenly domain is. And you have to fight to get there. You have to fight to get into you. You, subconscious you, is in here. And it is connected to your eternal father. And so that is the portion of your creation that is unmanifested. And it is created, it is it directly connected to your creator. And so this is, the, this is the race. We are racing to get back to self. To get back to our creation. To get back to our eternal father. Well, this was the mission of Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm, I'm hoping I explain that enough. Uh-huh. I'm hoping I explain that enough. So let's go to Timothy real quick. Timothy 3 and 13. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm going to start at the 12th verse instead of the 13th verse. It says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus, a Yeshua HaMashiach, shall suffer persecution. And so I don't understand why people say that you will not suffer if you live right. If the, the Bible says if you live right, you're going to suffer persecution. And it's going to get worse because of where we're going in our world. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse. And that's where we are right now. They shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived by the external agents of our world. And so we are entering into a place where people have already been deceived and now they are deceiving others. Now, this is what you got to ask yourself. Do you or do those that are leading others truly want 
our eternal father. Because if they do, then it's time for them to get their people prepared. Now, they have something going around saying that the rapture is not true. Well, if you're not connected to the spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach that gave us a doorway into the eternal father, which is a spiritual reconnection and reconciliation, then if you're not connecting, then you won't go back. I said you're not going to go back because the spirit that is going to be withdrawn from the earth will be directly connected to the spirit of the great I am. So if you're connected to the eternal father, if you're connected to the son, uh huh, to the son of Yah, then you will be withdrawn from the earth because you have a connection. And so there is a rapture because the Lord is not going to leave his spirit here to be polluted. He's not going to leave his spirit here to be violated. And so we got to get the people into the spirit of our eternal father. Go with me real quick to Matthews, um, the 24th chapter. So you see that we already have seducing people. The seducing came with Rome. Uh huh. The, the craftiness came with Rome. Uh huh. The craftiness came with Rome. And so when you understand that Rome took over the truth, uh huh. I'm going to keep on saying it until people hear what I have to say, because the Lord said that we got to speak until they wake up. We got to speak until they wake up. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you, man of God. Oh, hallelujah. So when you see that we are nearing the end of time, we are nearing the end of time, not the end of the world, but the end of the spirit of Yah. He is going to withdraw himself. I said he's going to withdraw himself from the face of the earth and nothing will be left except for the contaminated spirit that has been reduced down to nature. That's the only thing that's going to be left. Go with me real quick to Matthew. Matthew's the 24th chapter. Hallelujah. Matthew's the 24th chapter. You know, all morning long, um, the marine kingdom was here. Now, I didn't really know why, um, but um, you got to understand um, that when God calls you or when he has chosen you to do something, Love is the only way you will complete the mission. If you don't love him, fear will set in. If you don't love him and you have not fallen into his love, fear will set in. You will become afraid because of the times, because of the way of the world. It all depends on where you're dwelling. It all depends on if you're dwelling in the flesh that is fearful or whether or not you have moved into the mind of the Father. Now, it's going to be hard because you're living out of the soulish room right now. And the Lord is trying to lead you into the doorway of heaven. Okay, so go with me to Matthew 24 and I'm going to start at the 23rd verse. I'm going to start at the 23rd third verse. I love this um, this chapter because it really gives you insight because most people think that you're not supposed to do what Christ did. They believe that Christ did it all and that you're just supposed to lay, uh, uh, give your life to him and then he's handled everything else. But listen to what it says here in Matthew 24 and 23. Hallelujah. Matthew 24 and 23. It goes on to say, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees and hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and, a, and come on, in a, ninth, in a nice and common, and these are just seasonings and stuff like that, that they pay tithes to, um, the, the, the priest and the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They paid with their, with, the, with their, um, with their, um, with their myrrh, with their frankincense, with their common, with their mints. They paid tithes with that. And they say, and, they, and have omitted the weightier matters, but they were more concerned about the tide than they were the weightier matters. Now listen to this, okay, you guys. And then he said, the weightier matters, judgment, mercy, and faith. So the weightier matters are judgment. The weightier matters are mercy. The weightier matters are faith. Because if you're not walking in the, come on, in the judgment, understanding what is right, understanding what is wrong. If you're not walking in mercy, you got to have mercy on those that are ignorant to the devices of the enemy and they have led others into the deception of Satan. You can't be fighting people that have been led by the principal to fight you. Uh -huh. They've been led by Satan to fight the, come on, the righteous and they don't even understand that they're up under the rulership of the, <laughs> the king of darkness, which is Satan. But listen, and, 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 and faith, because if you're not teaching these things, then people cannot believe. They can only believe 
what you give to them. The Bible say faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high. Oh, hallelujah. Not just the word that is dead, but a living word, a word that's coming out of a redeemed spirit, a word that's coming out of a living vessel, a vessel that has been sanctified and set apart and reconciled back to the spirit of the great I am. But listen to what it says here. And then it goes on to say that ye, oh, I'm in the 23rd verse, the 23rd chapter. I knew something was off with that, but I made it work. See how, see what I'm talking about? So it's 24 and 23. Then if any man shall, um, shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ or there is Christ. Believe it not. Okay. We got this going on right now because Christ never sent anybody in his name, by the way. No, 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 no. Not like that. He said, you're going to do this in my name. He said, you're going to baptize. You're going to cast out devils. You're going to raise the dead in my name. In my name, you're going to do this. So you got to abide in him in order to have this type of operation. Otherwise, it is inoperative. That power flow is inoperative unless you abide in his name. You have to abide in him. You have to abide in his anointing in order for these things to come about. But the 24th verse is where we want to pinpoint. For there shall arise false Christ uh -huh, and false prophets and shall show signs and wonders. And this is what's about to come. Because their Christ is on the way. He's on the way. He's on the way. But he has limited mankind down to flesh and blood. And so it's going to be easy for him to deceive the masses. Because of where mankind is dwelling. Because he is locked out of his own spiritual content. He is locked out of his own spiritual creation. And so he's going to be easily deceived. So he said many false prophets shall come. They're going to be able to see. Uh huh. They can see because they are awakened in the soulless realm and they've been given access in the soulless realm not through the mind of the eternal father because in that place you live holy in that place if you don't you drop dead like the priest of the old testament and so they got to live right in order to dwell in him and so these that are coming they are not going to necessarily be living upright before the lord but they may be living in sin that means they can be doing all kinds of work and, and living all kinds of ways and give you insight into you, but yet don't have insight into him. Oh, hallelujah. But he said, many shall come and they shall come with great signs and great wonders. And it's going to be very easy because so, so much that if there, if it were possible, he didn't say it was possible. He said, if it were possible, they shall deceive those that have been elected by the kingdom of heaven. And when you go through an election, you, that means you have been chosen. That's what we have in the earth realm. We have an election and then we choose who we want to rule over us. So you have been chosen if you are an elect of the Lord. They are voting for you. They believe that you can do the assignment. You have been placed there. You have been chosen to do what you are doing. Behold, I have told you before. There, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, it is in the desert. I'm talking about this saying that it's in the dry places. Go not forth. Behold, it is in the secret chamber. They say, come on. The Lord is letting you know that these people are coming and they are coming when the place is dry. They are coming when the chambers are, come on. It is a secret place. We're dealing with secret organizations. We're dealing with secret societies. We're dealing with people that have built a whole entire regime in a secret place. And now people are being deceived. They're being deceived from a secret place but he said don't you dare believe them because come on because if they were operating in him you would see the flow of his kingdom and his kingdom is sanctified that means it's set apart from the world that means that it don't operate under the influence of the world it's in the world but it's not of the world go with me real quick to um, um mark 10 go with me real quick to mark 10 Good afternoon, good morning. I pray you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I just wanted to come and jump right in. I wanted to come and jump right in because I smelt 
like seawater all morning long. That's real weird. Yeah, uh huh. But it's okay because we do know that the dragon is erupting. He's come on. He's coming. He's coming. And the beast that 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 dealt with the dragon. The, the, come on, the beast that dealt with the dragon. They too came up out of the sea. Uh huh. Four beasts came out of the sea. You're gonna find out that they had control over the waters. Uh huh. They had control over the waters, but it is the waters of the sea. And this is why the Lord say that the first earth and the first heaven was going to pass away and there would be no more sea because the sea have been contaminated with the dragon. It has been contaminated with those that work on behalf of the dark realm, the dark realm. Okay. I said, um, 10, right? 10. And I'm going to go to the, um, the 27th and the 29th verse. Hallelujah. And Yeshua, Jesus Christ, looking upon them. And make sure I'm in the right chapter this time. Okay, we got it. And Yeshua, looking upon them, saith, With men it is impossible. With men it is impossible. But with Yah, with, with Yah or God, for with God all things are possible. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And the Lord said to him, and Yeshua said to him, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that have left houses, that have, come on, or, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or wives, or children, or lands, for my sake, that sh for the, and look, and for the sake of the gospel, but he shall receive all. I said, you're going to get it all back if you're willing to surrender to get the truth. If you're willing to surrender the outer man that was developed outside of God, that was, come on, trained outside of Yah, that was designed outside of Yah. I'm talking about about the flesh that is connected to the branches of physics, which is the physical branches, which is our children, which is our mothers, our fathers. These are branches of physics. Those things that could be manipulated by, come on, um, psychological manipulation in physics and witches and warlocks that are reigning in the scientific realm. Uh huh. Those that are connected to the physical realm. There is nobody. They have left sisters and brothers that are tied to the flesh. The flesh that is, come on, in covenant with the world. The, the flesh that is in covenant with the lust of the flesh that is in covenant with this blood. No man has left that part. His land hit, come on, his land, his environment, what he understands as true for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the gospel, uh-huh, that will not receive all in this life. I said this life, in the life to come. So everything that we leave, everything that we abandon, everything that we disconnect from, we gonna get it back, but it's gonna move up under the ostracies of the spiritual redemption of of Christ. You got to abandon this outward man because this outward man is in covenant with the world. This outward man, they're now trying to hijack it and log it in to the machine called the beast. This outward man is in covenant with the eye syndrome. It's in covenant with the eye syndrome. I said it's all about I. This is the outside man. He is the centerpiece for all things. That means that everything he wants is based on his lust. Everything he want is based on his desire. But the Bible say in Mark 10 and 29, no man has left everything connected to the eye. No man has left everything connected to the bloodline of flesh that have not received all again in this life and the life to follow. And so you got to abandon this outer man. If you have been chosen by God, everybody ain't been chosen to do this. But there are some of us that have been chosen. God bless you, prophetess. Oh, some of us have been... Come on, chosen to do this. Oh, hallelujah. Some of us have been chosen to leave all. Uh-huh. It's a painful circumcision. It's a circumcision of the flesh. That means we got to cut away everything tied to it. So when we move into the spirit and when we're led by the spirit, we will not be manipulated by the things that are tied to our nature. And that, come on, that means money. Oh, yeah, it is a scary situation. And this is why you have to be chosen to do it. Because God begins to, come on, increase 
peace in you and he gives you, come on, the faith to believe him outside of where you were raised, outside of how you've been taught, outside of what you, because some of us got to go into the light so we can lead our people out of the darkness and the lies of the enemy that is trying to hijack not just the flesh, but the soul and the unconscious spiritual man that found no consciousness in the dragon. The beast has always been here because the beast is a machine. I said the beast is a machine, but this whore, this woman that was risen up by the Roman Catholic Church, this woman that was risen up by Rome to come on, to mimic Christ, to mimic the bride of Christ, to become a clone of Christ. Come on, this is Jezebel. They are mimicking Jezebel and so many are sitting at her table. And yes, it is a fearful thing to come on, come on, to come against something that is dominating all things, yet it dominates in politics. It dominates in education. It dominates in religion. It's dominating all things. And so God's got to choose you to lead the people out of darkness. Listen to what he says here. He said, ain't nobody left this out of man that have not received all uh huh, a hundredfold in this life and the life to come. What that simply means is that when you leave the part of you that has nothing to do with all of you, then you're going to get everything back. But it ain't going to mean that much to you because you're going to understand the weight that you carry in the spirit because that's a weightier thing. Uh -huh. That's a precious jewel. What you're leaving the outward man, that thing that is set in decay, that thing that is disconnected from the vine, according to St. John, the 15th chapter, he said to be disconnected from the vine is to come on, is to wither, uh -huh. is to wither and die and men will gather you. I said they're going to gather you and put you in their churches and they're going to take you into the fire because they are not connected to the truth vine. They are not connected to the husband man, which is the father. He took it out of the custody of man and he put it back into the custody of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, who was crowned with our heavenly and eternal father. And that's why I showed you that picture because you got to make it home to the heavenly domain. And it's inside of you. I said, it's inside of you. You've been cut off from you because you live outside. So one of the things that we have to do is abandon ourselves. We have to abandon the flesh. We have to go to First John. Um, go to um, Saint John real quick with me. Saint John, Saint John, three sixteen. A familiar scripture. Everybody know this scripture. Everybody know this scripture. You know what I don't understand is that people say they love God and they love His people, but they won't seek the truth for real. Because if you sought the truth for real then you would understand that why are they trying to change the atmosphere? You know, I heard the Lord say that they, they, they got visitors coming. And so they're trying to make the atmosphere adaptable. See? And so now you got to become adaptable because of what they've done to the planet. And so now we got to understand that we, if, if they close you off from your spiritual origin, then you're not going to be able to find your way back in. Because you're going to be logged into something bigger called the beast. Uh huh. It is a system that is full of algorithms. Uh huh. Algorithms. Uh huh. And vibrations and axions. Uh huh. You're going to be logged into something that can delegate without your permission. You're going to be logged into something. It's going to send messages to the brain waves. The brain waves. You, no man should be reduced to brain matter. But if you are cut off from the soul, how can you get to your eternal father that created? Created you. What a scheme that has been put in place. And this scheme started being put in place before most of us were born. I said before most of us was born. So Rome, who come on, went into the dark ages for a thousand years and did not allow anybody to read the scriptures for themselves, who have taken on the colors of the whore, the great whore, which is red and purple, and who have became the bishops over the souls of men when Christ said that it was one who was the bishop of our souls who have became the fathers of the church when Christ said no man shall you call father for one is the father which art in heaven oh my shit I must say so the Lord is telling us that now he is transitioning he is transitioning who uh -huh, the son of perdition he is transitioning and his people are preparing and he is logging his own people in churches are logging people in these are souls y'all 
These are unconscious souls that don't know the truth. Revelations, I mean, I'm, 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 St. John 3.16, which is a familiar scripture, where people say, well, Christ laid down his life. He laid down his life for us, so we don't have anything else to worry about. Uh, yeah, he did. He laid it down, but he rose again. And he rose again to give us a doorway into an eternal domain. I said he rose again, so we can have access into a spiritual domain, where we will no longer be limited to the flesh in which Adam fell. He fell to the flesh. I said he fell to the sense realm. He fell because his eyes were open mm -hmm. and he lost the mind of God he lost the place of Yah he lost the mind of Yah that means the mind of Yah that gave him his reflection and image he lost that when he fell into the nature of the flesh and now the soul that has been come on logged into knowledge alone knowledge is nothing but axions and proposition that are under the influence of philosophers and physical <laughs> and physics and physicians and engineers and people that are driving people like they're nothing but horses. That's what knowledge is all about. It's about what's inside the ledger. It is about what you know, not who you know. You don't even know yourself, but you know their information. But listen to what it says here in 316. Uh -huh. It said, for God... <laughs> For God so loved the world, I know the kids know this, right? That he gave his only begotten son, though that him that was begotten of his spiritual origin, uh -huh, that those that believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. But then the Roman Catholic Church opened up a parish, uh -huh, but they spelt it different, but they still opened up a parish. And come on, why are you going to call it a parish, okay? They opened up a parish, and they too don't want you to perish but you're going into the abyss of hell because they have no doorway in to the kingdom of righteousness because they took the truth and they became the master builders of the body of Christ but they didn't build Christ they built they built their Christ I said they built their bride and this hooker I mean this whore sorry y'all this whore is my lord hallelujah prostituting on every corner. The Bible called her a strange woman, hearkening and beckoning unto man on every corner. And that's what you got churches on every corner, beckoning to men. Or a strange spirit, a strange fire that is illuminated in the soul by the Kundalini spirit, the snake, the spirit, the soul that could not find his way out of the imprisonment of the Roman Catholic Church or the Church of England. They could not find their way out of the observatory because no one told them that you got to go in to get out. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So listen to what it said that he so loved the world that he gave his son that whosoever believe in him, they're going to have everlasting life. And that's not just everlasting. It means that you're going to tap into the eternal spirit that dwell on the inside of you. There's an eternal spirit in you. And so when you tap into the eternal spirit that dwell in you, you have eternal eternal life. And so the eternal spirit is now metamorphing. The eternal spirit is now manifesting. The eternal spirit is now coming alive. And he's able to move into the soul and regroup with the soul. Uh -huh. The spirit of the part of you that's been made a small midget. The part of you that has been made to believe that he is what he feels. He is what he sees. He is what he takes. The part of you that has been reduced according to the figment. <laughs> the figment. <laughs> what is it? The Freud, uh huh, ego, uh huh, the Freud, uh huh, Sigmund Freud, uh huh, const uh, he's a constitution too, because these are laws of nature. The laws of nature came from men of physics. I said the laws of nature came from men of philosophy. They came to bring restriction to the spirit man based on nature. But we are not supposed to be reduced to the natural man. We are more than what we feel. We are more than what we see. We are the children of the great I am. There is a creation in us waiting to be redeemed, waiting to be restored back to its origin. So listen to what he says here. He said that he laid down his life, that we can have everlasting life. But Yah, but God sent 
not his son into the world to condemn it. And so they're not condemned only if they reject that spiritual doorway, only if they reject what he has done, but that the world through him will be delivered from the imprisonment of the flesh, from the imprisonment of nature, from the control of those that are in philosophical and observatory realms. Oh, hallelujah. But he said, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because you don't believe that you're not supposed to walk in the spirit, but you think that he died so you can live any kind of way you want to live. But the Bible say that he that walketh in the spirit shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And so if you walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, you are not condemned. But if you walk after the flesh, you are condemned already because he gave you a spiritual doorway. He gave you a spiritual avenue. He gave you a spiritual way into the eternal father. Oh, hallelujah. So listen to what he said. We got to forgive them because they did not know. We got to forgive them because they were deceived. And in their deception, they begin to deceive others. So we forgive you. But come on in and bring your people into the truth because he's coming. Oh, no, no. He's here. The son of perdition. And you know what he says, though? After he says um, in three, John, St. John three sixteen. He said, not only did he lay down his life, but we too should do the same for our brothers and our sisters. And so we too, we do, we too are supposed to do the same. So for those that think that you're not supposed to surrender all, uh, he said, you got to lay your life down. I just read that to you. If you lay down your life so you can have the spiritual life within, then everything you gave up, you're going to get it back because you need it in order for you to accomplish the mission. But it will not be a place of fulfillment. I said material things will never fulfill you. They will accommodate you. They will give you, well, come on, he's going to give you what you need to complete the mission in the earth realm. But we are heavenly children. Come on, bound to an earth domain based on an assignment that has been given to us from a heavenly father. Go with me real quick to um, Amos 36. It says he's allowed, he allows some to um, deceive and others to be deceived in Amos, okay? Amos 3 and 6. And then 1 John 1 and 5 goes on to say that in the Lord there is light. Let's go there real quick. I'm going to first John. I'm sorry, you guys. Hallelujah. First John, first John, first John. I have to keep going. I have to keep going. First John. Let me share something with you. When you live out here, you can feel everything. It's like open flesh. And I know people say, if you use prayer, Prayer will be like a shield around you. And I do believe that. It, it's your it's your little spirit in the soul that is 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 permeating and permeating until you get enough strength in that spirit to cover the flesh. I believe that. But if you go into your father, where this is a real secret place, not secret societies, but a real secret place, then you ain't gotta worry about that no more. Because you won't be in the flesh. You will be in the spirit. And it's in this place that we are able to transfer the spirit of God and reboot and re come on and reboot and, 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 and quicken the, the, the dead soul and bring it back to life again. This is where we're supposed to go. This is where leaders are supposed to abide because in this place, guess what? You don't have to worry about no COVID, not in this place, because this is where divine healing dwells. See, this is where the, and that's why when people touch that place, when people touch people that are connected to that place, so many people are dying prematurely because they want to try. They think everybody is religious. They think everybody is connected to the flesh and they're just doing religion. Some of us are truly connected to our father. Some of us have truly tapped in to the heavens. Some of us have truly went into the mind of our eternal father. We died to go in. We gave up everything, children, money, land. We gave it all up. We have lived, we have lived the way that the apostles truly live in order to gain spiritual truth, in order to gain spiritual revelation. We have lived in this facet in order for others to gain light concerning themselves. But many people don't want to go that way. But do you realize what they're doing here? Do you understand that you don't have much time left? 
you're going to cry because God is warning you. Yah is warning you. Yah means the God of Israel. He is warning these rulers and these leaders. I'm letting you know that we forgive you. We forgive you. We understand that you didn't know. But now that you know, and you don't want to see the video that, that people put out that's true, that simply means that you have already made a deal with hell. And so now you're going to take all these people with you. So I'm admonishing those that really want God to seek him with your whole heart, to seek him with everything that's inside of you. You cannot just go on the mere voice of a man. You're going to have to seek him out like he told you in the, in the scripture for yourself. Everything is up under his influence, y'all. Everything. Um, first, um, I wanted to go to 1 John 1 and 5. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. 1 John 1 and 5. When you out here, remember when you're born, I showed you the picture. When you're born, you're connected to this band. Okay? Your little soulish man is here. He's in brain matter. All right? And then he begins to manifest. That's part of this, that tenth of the spirit. And then he's connected to the sense realm. He's connected to all of these things, that, that band of wickedness. He's connected to electromagnet, electromagnetic forces. He's, he's connected to the electron area. He's connected to the brain waves. He's connected to all of these things here. And then when you become a person that thirsts after the Lord, you begin to move inward towards the soul. And as you move into the soul, you're going to have to understand that you are still up under the observatory. This is where the royal observatory is. This is where not only the Roman observatory dwells, but the observatory of the queen. And they are watching your spiritual growth. They are watching your spiritual development. They call this the eye of providence because they think that they are God. And this is the world soul that the little spirit man has moved into. But this is where you got to go. You got to go home. And this is the subconscious you that is buried in you. And it is your father. It is your creator that is waiting for the creation to come back to the house. He's, you got to get past this right here. And the angels will take you. I say they will take you beyond that. And you got to get into the heavenly domain. And in that place, you'll be able to deliver your family. In that place, you'll be able to deliver those that people will come into your spirit and be free. They'll be coming, they'll come into your spirit and be free and be liberated because you have access into the heavenly domains. And this is where we got to get people into the heavenly domains. But when you are out here, scorpions, serpents, everything attaches itself to you. Everything. Because this is what the spirit becomes when it is not un up under the development of the great I am. When it's not under development of our father, it has become a Kundalini spirit. That is a snake spirit. It is a, it is a serpent spirit. And it's connected to religions. It's connected to ideologies. It's connected to the brain. So in that place, you don't have any light. I just want you to know that. You don't have any light in that place. According to 1 John, in the first chapter, it tells you, in the, in the, fourth, in the, in the, in the fifth verse, it tells you, and these things write I unto you. And, and that your joy might be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him. Who? Yeshua. And declare unto you. Okay. That Yah or God is light. I said he's light. Mm -mm. He's light. He's light. And in him is no darkness at all. He said it ain't no darkness in him. I said zero darkness in him. So you can't be in him and be in darkness. And that's why he said, my burden is light. Uh-huh. He said, my burden is light. You will bear the light of Yah. You will bear the light. That will become your covering. That will become your covering. You will be covered with the light of Yah because you will be in him. Okay. And there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him. Now this kicks a lot of people out and, 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 and walk in darkness. We lie and do not the truth. You can't do the truth 
Because you lie not only to yourself, but you lie to everybody else. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light and the light is in you, it just haven't been turned on yet. The light is in you because you're living off of that life. Because the Bible say that that light was the life of man. It say that that light was the life of man. And so you're not even living out of your true life. You're living out of the life of nature. And the light of the spirit is, come on, is living in you, but you have no connection to it. But he said that light is the life of man, according to St. John, the first chapter. But he said we walk in the light as he is in the light. We have fellowship one with another so we can fellowship with each other in this place. But if we're not in the light, how can we fellowship with each other? We can't fellowship with each other. You got those that are in knowledge and those that are in light. In knowledge, there's darkness because you're playing with puzzles, pieces of a puzzle without light. But in light, there's no darkness because you're in him. You're in him. So it's time to lead the people into him. It's because, come on, the dragon, this machine, y'all, this machine has been around for, for over a hundred years. A hundred years. Yes, it has. It's been around a long time. It's being manifested now because of what's getting ready to come to the planet. And so now they got to get people logged in. They got to get people. See, they knew nobody would just take a mark. They knew that. They knew that. They knew that. So you didn't have any clarity, no clarity, because when you walk in knowledge without light, you're still in darkness. And the Bible say there's no darkness in him and he that live in darkness is not in him. And so those that say that they are in the Lord, they are not telling the truth and they are not embracing their own truth because we got to get in there quick. Now we got to move very quick. It's not too late. I'm letting you know it's not too late for you to think it's too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Hallelujah. Look, I just want you to know. That they took my video down off of um, YouTube and they said I couldn't go up for a week. And so um, I don't know why they did that, because there's other people talking about COVID that is not doctors up there. But they took my video down and they wouldn't let me um, go back up for a week. And the only thing I said was that the, 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 you know, that the VAX was connect to connected to the mainframe. And, and so they, they took the, they took it down. All right. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to go back up there soon. But what I want to say to you is that they are, they are, if, if this wasn't true, what I'm preaching right now, what I'm teaching right now, why are they doing all of this monitoring? Why are they doing all this censoring? Why are they doing that? Because it's true. They're trying to connect people to the mainframe. If you if that if that stuff has nanos in it, it's gonna change the DNA. I just want you to know that. And I know that a lot of people, you gotta you gotta ask yourself, Pastor, why are you doing this? Are you doing this because of market? Or are you doing this because of ministry? Because if it's about market, then you don't care what it's gonna cost. You're going to get these people connected to something that's going to harm them. But if it's about ministry, then you're going to tell them the truth because you know that you are here on a mission. And the Bible say this is not our home, that we are pilgrims and strangers in this land. And we came here to do battle with the enemy. We came here to collect the harvest and to awaken our brothers and sisters that have been dead, that have been laying dormant in the grave of the flesh. We came here to awaken them to righteousness. Righteousness is not the works of the flesh. Righteousness is what you were designed to be. By faith, you must come back alive. By faith, you have to believe that your father has a design of thought concerning you, that you must become, you must manifest according to that. So if people are just preaching for the benefit of gain, they have not sacrificed all in order that they might walk in the light of his kingdom that dwell in us. So we can bring light to the world. So the world will run. The Bible say that he that read of what he gives you will run. They will run. I say they will run because they don't have much time. They got to run in. They got to run in. If you abandon this, 
It's going to crash. You will you will have enough time to get other people in. It you are shifted. Uh-huh. The time the time that they're trying to do it in will shift. Uh-huh. It'll shift because you won't go with it. It'll shift. We can shift this. We are the authority. When we walk in the spirit of Yah, we are the authority. But when you walk in fear because you've been locked out of yourself, you locked out of you. How can, how can something that man create cure anything? It will only, come on, how can, and come on. It can only deal with the outgrowth of what's going on, but it will never cure anything. The only cure to what's going on here is the spirit of the great I am that live in all of us. I see they live in all of us. Mm -hmm. And some people are using that spirit in an in a opposed way. And that's what called that's what caused them to be an antichrist spirit. So they're working on behalf of the antichrist, meaning they are using their anointing to draw people in the opposite direction of themselves. So people are being drawn away from the God in them towards a God outside of them. And so that's an antichrist spirit because it's going against who you are. It's going against what you were designed to be. It's going against what you're supposed to manifest to be. It's going against you. That's an opposing Christ that goes against the anointing that was put in you and waiting to be born and waiting to be manifested. Listen to what he says here. He said that anybody that dwell in the dark and say that they are in me, they are lying to you because there ain't no darkness in me. And so we are in the end time. We are in the end time. We got we to gotta make more time for those to get in. So you got to shift. You got to move away from the boundaries of fear. How, Sister Gay? You got to start fasting. If you fast, I know your immune system will not go down if you take vitamin D. Vitamin D even gets rid of cancer. If you take vitamin D, you will never get cancer. I see you. I don't care how many nuclear weapons they send your way. They're sending new. That's why people are getting cancer because of the nuclear weapons that they're they're manipulating cells and come on, causing cells to implode, which causes radiation to go out throughout the body, and that causes cancer. Uh huh. But so so and 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 the, and the thing to get rid of those cancer cells is called H two O two. I said it's called H two O two. It will annihilate every cancer cell, but you can only get that from the health food store. But take vitamin D. Get yourself some Bragg's vinegar, which is a healing substance, and just put two tablespoons in an eight-ounce glass of water and drink it throughout the day. Drink glasses of it throughout the day, and it will repair whatever is being destroyed by the machine. Because now the machine is feeding off of the flesh. I said this machine is feeding off a of brainwave. You are keeping it alive. You keeping it alive alive go in fast when you move away from the flesh you can't even feel the pain of what they're trying to do because the spirit man is not dead he's just reduced he's reduced but what they're trying to do is lock the father out completely lock him out where he has no more operation in his creation and with the without the operation of our creator become whatever I said, we become whatever because we have no operation. We have no reflection of who we're supposed to be because the soul has been blinded by the knowledge that come from out here. And now that the knowledge out here is blinding everybody because everybody is turned away from the God in them. That's where the light is. The light is inside of you waiting to be redeemed. We need power companies. The, the 12 apostles were power company. They were empowered to bring power to what's inside of humanity. And so they could reboot. They could quicken the immortal spirit and bring it back alive and bring it back alive, connecting it back to its creator based on creation. But if nobody is connected to the power company, Lights out. You're looking out here. The puzzle has no light. The puzzle, you're squeezing, trying to fix pieces where they don't belong. You're living out of other men's minds that will not tell you that they don't have the answer 
They can make you feel good in your flesh because everything became sensationalism. I ain't nothing wrong with shouting because if you got something to rejoice about, the Bible tell you to rejoice. The Bible tell you to dance and praise him. But if you're praising him in the midst of a lie, then we got ourselves a problem. If you're praising him in the midst of darkness, then we have ourselves a problem. But if you're praising him because of redeemed, you've been redeemed by the spirit inside of you. Come on, go in, go in, go in. Um, I'm going, I'm moving you guys really soon. And so I want, I, I, I know that September may be the last month. I was thinking it was this month, but September may be the last month of the courses until I am established. Okay. And, um, and, and listen, okay, listen, the Lord is doing something because it's going to be the best of days for those that move in. It's going to be the worst of those that, days for those that are locked out and get locked into the machine. And then you're going to regret that you didn't listen to anybody because you wanted to listen to somebody that had all of the information of the world. Well, the information of the world do not validate God, do not validate the great I am. He don't need anybody to validate him. He created everything in the world. He can take what's in your head and give you revelation on it. He can take one word and one word and the great I am continues to unfold because he is a Eternal. Nothing begins. Come on. With him, all things continue. One word continues in him. Nothing stops unfolding in him. There is no more thirst in him. He is forever moving, flowing forever. And so these courses that are coming up, they're dealing with spiritual identity theft because the spirit has been, come on, robbed. He's been robbed by nature. I say he's been robbed by nature because nature is living out the life of the spirit. That means the spirit man has been reduced to nature and all that he is and all that he could ever expect to be has been bound by nature. And so that's the first course that's coming. Okay. And then the origin of man-made religion. I'm going to deal with the foundation of religion and its origin and how other religions and man-made religions I don't, from 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 Islam from come on from Islam from Hinduism from Christianity all of these religions these are all religion this has nothing to do with the kingdom that reside in you which was the message of Yeshua which was the message of Yahshua or oh, hallelujah so we're going to deal with the origin of man-made religion and where they branched off from and then the third class is going to deal with a breach birth uh-huh. People that are born upside down. Uh -huh. We're seeing upside down. We're not seeing um, upright. Uh -uh. We're not the upright. We are not. The Bible say that he was going to make us upright. Uh -huh. But we're upside down right now. And so there's a breach birth. It's an upside down kingdom. Even what they are preaching in the churches are upside down because they're living according to the flesh and not according to the spirit. They're not living out of the spiritual mind of the great I am. They're living out of nature and so the kingdom has been turned upside down and so it's a breach birth. They're coming in with their feet not with the head uh -huh, because the head should be crowned by Christ. I said the head should be crowned by Christ. The anointing of the uh, oh my Lord. When you are born into the mind of your eternal father then you are crowned by him. You see through him. You are understand through him. And this is where he says, who has known the mind of the Lord that he might instruct them for we are supposed to have the mind of Christ. No, you got the mind of a man. You got the mind of philosophers. You got the mind of preachers. You got the mind of all of these people that should have a doorway into the mind of Christ. But they, uh-uh, uh-uh, you're being born backwards. You're being born breached. It is an upside down kingdom. And so that is the last course. And these courses um, are going to be um, 30 people per course. But so many people get all three courses. So if 30 people get all three courses, then there are nobody going to be able to just get one single course. So if 30 people get all three courses, all the courses are taken. There won't be any more courses. Okay. So it's 30 people um, per course. So if people just get you know, I want this course, I want that course. But with each course come a workbook. 
And so the workbook will give you, come on, a, 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 a staring where you can go deeper for yourself. The workbooks are intended to stir up the gift of Yah in you. So you can go when you leave the courses, you can go and you can begin to turn that word apart for yourself. You can begin to seek him for yourself. So it's, 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 it's there to stir up, to, to provoke you, to go look for the truth, to provoke you, to seek him with your whole heart and your whole mind. So you'll get a book for each course. So I do books for each courses. And so these courses are intended to manifest us from within and to show you what has been done historically on the outside. And so it's an historical um, lesson or history lesson, um, um, but it's a spiritual revelatory knowledge based on the scripture on how they did it. And, and it, it doesn't change the content of the book. It reveals the book. A lot of people used to tell me when I was growing in Christ in the church, and I love the church. I just want you to know that I have nothing against the church. That's why I had called and beckoned into the leaders to, to if they wanted their people to get in and they wanted and, and look for you, they have taken the shot. I showed you the picture. If you're just in the soul, if you go into the spiritual mind of Yah, he takes control of the soul. He takes control of the body. And it's like you've never taken, you've never taken anything because he pushes that stuff out because the house become his. He becomes Lord over the house. So this is why it's imperative to go in because he takes control of the house. And then the house only houses him. And this is where we got to get people inside of the Father. This is the true body of Christ. What Satan is doing is he's building a body. He's bringing unconscious spirits into his body. Well, he can fight with the spirit of God in man without man being conscious of their deception. Come on, we got to do this, you guys. We got to get people woke. Because the machine is kicking, it's rearing. You can feel it. It's going to be so bad, you ain't going to be able to feel yourself. They're trying to cut the consciousness of the creator out. Well, you can only feel through the sense room. It's a disgusting place to dwell. This is animals. What separated us from animals was the consciousness of our father. Without him, we are nothing more than the animals. I love you guys with an everlasting love. I promise you I do. And I forgive you. You that did not seek him with your whole heart, but you went by protocol. You went by protocol. And it was all about position. It was all about being in authority over others. This isn't this what Satan wanted? He wanted to rule. He wanted to rule. Isn't this what the Greeks and the Gentiles sought? They sought to rule over their brothers and sisters. Isn't this what Christ told us not to do? Anyway. I love you with an everlasting love. And I thank God for each and every one of you. Sign up for the courses today because they are going fast. And some have already joined themselves. We got new people in the course. And they're coming from all backgrounds. And so we're going to go in because we have a war to contend. And I mean, it's going to be men, women from every culture of life. This is, Satan has no respect of person. He's coming for the whole deal. He don't have any respect of person. He, he doesn't have any respect to person. And so I called out for the leaders last time. I called out for the leaders. And for you that think that I'm off, those that are reducing you down to worldly ways and the way of the world, the Bible say, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For the only thing that's in the world is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. You, 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 you're going towards Satan. And then they reduce the creature down to the creator hallelujah god bless you sis i i did want to say that i did want to say that um and um and charlene is also in um one of the courses so you guys introduce yourself um, um but i wanted to also say that these courses um everybody that has come has came back Ask, ask some of the members, some of the people that have come, no members, because we don't do members, because we've become a part of the member of the body, the true body. Um, ask some of the people that go, okay? Ask some of the people that go to the classes. Every last one of them have returned. So that is the indication to me that I'm on the right path. I'm on the right path. And so people are eating, they're finding their way out, and they are going to become a conduit for others. We are here to pass the baton 
we are here to get the light on. And then when you get the light on, you don't need me no more. You go get the light on. You turn the light on for others. We are not here to hold each other in bondage. We are here to lead each other out of darkness so we can go home together. We came from another location. So we are not here to come. Yes. Oh, God bless you, baby. God, and I miss you, Felicia. Miss you. Listen, we are here to turn the light on. It's time to turn the light on. Because Satan is trying to turn it all the way off. And he ain't nothing but a machine. But he's coming as Baphomet. And so he's a beast. But he don't have no power. So he had to do the machine thing. Because his power was taken away. So I'm trying to connect you back to your power source. Because you may be able to help me. None of us. None of us. Have it all. We are here to be a part of it all. And so you may have what I need. I may have this. But you may have something greater. So I'm calling to those that are unlocked. They are not unlocked yet. They have not entered yet. And so you are my brothers and sisters. And once the light is turned on, then you will see. And you may be able to take us into the whole deal. So we are all here to turn on lights. Get these lights on. So the darkness can be pierced through the light of those that are in the kingdom of righteousness. It's time, y'all. It's time to run. And then you won't hear the signals no more. I promise you, you guys. Satan is in an uproar. The whole bathroom smelled like seawater for about an hour and a half this morning. The whole bathroom. And you know, that's hard for me to believe myself. And when you go in the bathroom, you feel sprinkles of water. What kind of witchery is this? What kind of crazy mess is this? This is crazy. And people got a nerve to be connected to the marine kingdom? You got to be kidding me. That is the marine kingdom. That is the dragon in the sea. That is the waters of the Antichrist. That is crazy. We got to get these lights on. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, Minister Elaine. We got to get the lights on. People got the lights off. You don't need no letter. You need a living word that's going to turn the light on so you don't have to use the word like a puzzle. Well, do this part fit? Well, do that part fit? No, you need light. And in him ain't no darkness. And then we're going to expose this dragon, which is the one that brought the beast from his chains. Satan was brought back from the chains through this dragon, this Roman, Roman entity. Yes. And now the beast has created the beast because he can't function with power. So he's going to be connected to a machine. How do you log somebody into that? Think about it. Think about it. Don't just do stuff because you're afraid. If you're that afraid, run into the light. If you're that afraid, get into the kingdom. Don't run towards the world. They ain't got nothing to offer us. They can't even find the answer for what they've done already. They have nothing for us. They are out there trying to experiment on people. They have nothing for us. You need to run towards your father. He's the one that created you, according to Romans 1 and 1. And yes, the book is true. It's just that you don't have you. So you can't turn the book on. The book is made alive through you. If you're not alive, you can't turn the, the book can't come alive. So they took you away from you. They gave you a cannon, but they left the cannonball out. You're the cannonball. And that's why the Bible say, is there no bomb in Gilead? Come on. Is there no physician there? Where is those that hold the bomb of Gilead? That flu, come on, that, that, that medicine that will heal the soul in the spirit and open up the doorway of the mind of Yeshua. Open up the doorway of the mind of the great I am. All you got to have is a pure heart. He didn't say you had to be righteous. You can't make yourself righteous. Because we don't do righteousness with works. That's what Satan's doing. He wanted to do the performance because he's an actor on a stage. But we are to manifest. And that's righteousness. Manifestation of him by faith is righteousness. 
Abraham believed God and it was accounted as righteousness. So righteousness is the manifestation of what's done. Not doing something in the flesh and becoming actors. And that's why you got all these scary people in the church. Because everybody putting on a performance. Anybody can perform. But you need life for this word to come alive in you. And so everybody don't have a living word. Because everybody did not die. Everybody did not leave mother and father. Everybody did not leave children. Everybody did not leave houses. I, but you got to be chosen to do that. Because nobody in their right mind would do that. I know I wouldn't have, but I did. He made it where I had to. And he used me to do it. Because I bumped my, I messed my life up so bad that no one could deliver me but him. And so I had to go his way in order to get out of the way of what I had done. And so he is the one that uses our, come on, our error to get us into a place of correction. He corrects us and brings us into, and he said correction is not somebody beating you over your head. It is sometimes just taking the fork out of the left or the right hand and putting it in the hand that it belongs. It is just doing things the correct way. But if people don't have the correct way, they give you what they got. And it's tic-tac-toe from here. It's tic-tac-toe. All right, you guys, I love you. I love you. Sign up for those courses. Come on. Let's, let's get on board. It start on the 13th. Let's get on board. Get these lights on. Get these lights on. I'm moving. So you guys, um, pray for us, okay? Because I am moving, all right? And so, um, and then when I get in my place, it'll be easier for me because I won't be in open space. But the devil, he was used to give power. That's all. He is the employee, not the employer. He is the employee of the great I am. And so he is used to buffet. He is used to take us, to, to, to drive us out of this, this flesh into the spirit. And those that cannot take it, they surrender to him. And then they bring thousands of souls unconsciously into a lie. Come on, y'all. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Let's get it done. Let me pray real quick because this is a real serious word. Father, I thank you for those that are up here on this morning. And I ask you to cover them and to protect them and to shield them and to cover their families in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you, though, God, for the men, for those that are coming. Because, Lord, you said that the men were the head. Oh, God, and I ask you, Lord God, to give these men a mind to hear. Give them a mind to see. Give them a mind to know. Give them a mind, Lord. I'm praying, Lord God, that you would open up their eyes, that you would open up their hearts, that they will not lead their people into the captivity of this antichrist system lord in the name of yahshua you said that you have made them your headship and that you will crown them with your anointing and you will become the husband man but god they are up under the influence of a lie open up their eyes that they might see and then the women that they will not be used as a manifestation of the womb but in the spirit you said lord god that there's neither male nor female so as we get into your spirit as we get into your kingdom let us become one in you male and female oh god jew and gentile bond and free let us become one in you i'm ashamed let there be no more race let there be no more color let there be no more oh god gender division let there be no more oh god but let it be only you your spirit let it be only your holy spirit let it only oh now my shame but those that have been placed in charge a men, Abba. They are men. They are men. And I ask you, Lord God, to lead these men, to direct them. In the mighty name of Yahshua, cover this word, cover their family, cover them, cover them, cover them. I bind up incidents, accidents. I bind up everything that will come and give and be a backlash. I bind it by the blood of Yahshua. I bind it by the power of heaven. I bind up everything that will come and try to hinder and stop them from looking for that truth. In the mighty name of Yahshua, we pray. So be it. And I mean. I don't like to say amen because it's really a, a, a Egyptian God, but so be it. Hallelujah. I give God the glory. I give him the praise on today. I give y'all all of the glory. And I thank you guys for joining me, okay? And pray for the YouTube channel, okay? Because that's where a whole lot of um the activity went for me. Um, They cut me down even on Facebook. As you can see, I posted a picture um that stated that um I could not 
they muted my music in um, 115 countries. Um, but I'm, I'm looking at that. And the Lord said, Gay, I wanted you to know that this is not about views, but you got to understand that they are lessening. They are the ones that's controlling views. Because if you look at it, how can I be in 115 countries and not have any views? And so that's weird. Okay. So they told on themselves. So, I mean, they say they were muting it because of the music that I was playing that didn't belong to me. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we know that a lot of people are hearing these messages, but hopefully they will take heed. Hopefully they will take heed. And I don't ask anybody to share because I want people to come and get the truth. We don't shove it down anybody's throat. All right. Bye bye. Be blessed. I see you in the class on the 13th. Bye bye. Get all three courses. Come on. So you can have all three books because after next month, I don't, I'm, I don't know when I'm coming back up. Okay. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. See you later.